sometimes when I don't agree with someone's position or statement, instead of just saying what I believe and going from my viewpoint, I ask them questions, try to get her to better understand their perspective, to understand why do they think the way that they do. And oftentimes when you ask questions, you have a better understanding. And it's that kind of that idea of seek first to understand before being understood. We need curiosity in our society more than other, as opposed to assuming a person thinks the way they do because they're wrong, because they're stupid, because they're idiots. Maybe it's saying, having the curiosity, like, what? Am, where did I lose my way? Where am I wrong? And actually having that will have a, a better understanding. And I remember reading a quote that I think is really powerful. Sometimes when you're actually making a point or you're getting into a debate or a conversation, the best way to kind of move people forward is to actually be able to state their viewpoint from your perspective and actually they know you understand it. And if you don't understand someone's perspective, then you'll actually never be able to grow. It's one of the reasons I actually am really digging into Jonathan Haidt's book because I have seen a lot of the posts, a lot of things that are shared, and I don't necessarily agree with them, but I'm not gonna just disagree with a snippet or a quote. I wanna actually understand the book, the perspective, and go deep into it. So do you read books? Do you read articles? Do you read things from other people that you don't agree with? Or do you just actually read what you already agree with to make yourself feel better. And I think if you wanna feel better, then you have to have a well-rounded understanding of others, even when you don't agree with them.